In this video, we're going to be looking at implementing the Markov cohort simulation for a health economic evaluation that we had in the presentation in Excel. So the first thing that we're going to do is bring in the transition matrix that we described in the presentation. And you'll remember that there were three health states, healthy, diseased, and dead. And that the transition probabilities from the healthy state were 96% would remain in the healthy state, 3% would move to the diseased state, and 1% would move to the dead state in each cycle. There was no possibility to return to the healthy state from the diseased state, and there was a probability of 95% of remaining in the diseased state in each cycle, leaving a 5% chance of transitioning to the dead state in each cycle from the diseased state and in the dead state it's an absorbing state so zero probability of transitioning out of it probability one of remaining in it great now the next thing we need to do is bring in the payoffs that we have for each of the states so payoffs and let's say healthy and diseased not going to bother putting the dead one there because there are no costs or qualities accrued in the dead state. In the healthy state it was a cost of 50 per cycle and 0.9 qualities per cycle whereas in the diseased state it was a thousand was the cost per cycle and 0.6 was the qualities. Okay so we brought in all of the model inputs and now it's time to put together our cohort simulation. Let's start off with a column for the different cycles in the model. We'll start with one, go down, we'll take this up to 40. Okay, the next thing we want is some columns for the state membership. So we're going to have one column for healthy, one column for diseased, and one column for dead. And everybody is going to start off in the healthy state. So we'll put an initial cohort size of 1,000 in there, and then zero in the other two. Okay, you may remember from the rock, paper, scissors model that there's a nice and quick way for us to use the transition matrix to update the state membership. And that was with the matrix multiplication function. So we've selected the whole row that we want to apply it to and then we do matrix multiple of the previous row with the transition matrix. We're going to hit F4 because we don't want this reference to change. Close the brackets and then it's a control shift enter to put that formula in. Okay, fantastic. And then we will fill this down to the bottom that's our model looking really good in terms of state membership. Next, we'll be looking at costs. So we have costs incurred in the healthy and the diseased state, and we'll want to also keep track of the total costs. Okay, what costs are we getting in the healthy state? Well, it's going to depend on how many people are in the healthy state. So we'll be looking in the state membership column and then also multiplying that by the payoff per cycle given here. Again, we'll hit F4 to make sure that we're always referring to that particular cell. Just as a sense check, there were a thousand people in the healthy state. It costs 50 per cycle. So as expected, we have 50,000 is the cost in the healthy state for that first cycle. In the diseased, We'll do the same thing, but we're going to refer to slightly different cells. As you would expect, there are zero costs in the diseased state in the first cycle because nobody is in the diseased state in the first cycle. Now it's the total. If we want, we can go equals that plus that, or we can do alt equals to quickly bring up the auto sum. And then we can fill all of these down with control D. Okay, those are the costs done. So next step will be the qualies. Healthy, diseased and total. Once again, we're referring to the state membership column and then we're applying the relevant payoff from that set of payoffs. So now we're looking at qualies 
we're accruing 0.9 qualies per cycle in the healthy state. We had a thousand people in that state, so 0.9 times a thousand is 900, as we would expect. The diseased, do the formula like so, get the total, and we fill it down. Okay, going really quite well so far. What we are interested in ultimately is the total cost over the duration of the model averaged per patient. So you can quickly go equals sum down here, select all of these. That's the total cost. That's the total cost for a thousand patients. So we can divide by a thousand or we can point all the way up here because that's where we've actually hard coded the cohort size. Okay, so an average cost of £9,064. Similar formula comes in here. Again, make sure it's adjusted for the cohort size. And that's the average number of qualities that we expect to get. If you want, you can also have these for the total costs and total qualities in each of the states, that can be very useful to report. And just to check, if we change this up here, the cohort size, these shouldn't change. So if I instead change it to one, the state membership changes, the costs change and the qualities change, but down here we've got the same results because we're adjusting for the cohort size. Put that back to a thousand and then probably the last step is to just make it look a bit nicer so i'm going to pause and do some formatting work okay so i haven't gone overboard with the formatting just slightly adjusted the column widths and used a bit of borders and a bit of bold and some number formats to make it look a bit clearer down here at the bottom we have a nice demonstration of what this is so it's the total costs and qualities on an average per patient basis there we go it's all done enjoy